Hello everybody and welcome to my 15th XL 2010 VBA tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use nested if statements uh, so let's just go back into the code we're using in, in the last tutorial um, so what I wanted to do now is rather than just saying they got it wrong I want them to give them some kind of indication um, of whether or not they they were got under guessed or over guessed um, so to do this we're going to use another if statement and then we're going to embed it within the previous if statement. So it's quite a simple concept. So instead of having message box, sorry you've got it wrong, let's get rid of that. What we want to do in here is we want to put in another uh, test criteria to test whether or not their guess was um, lower or higher. We don't want it to be in the else side because if they got it right then we don't want to tell them it's lower or higher. So this is the point of a nested if statement is this test is only going to run if the first test is is true so let's put in another if and it's just the same as before you just exactly the same syntax the only difference is, is it's just it's embedded within a within an, another if statement itself so if and then we want to test if their guess is less than or well their, if their guess is greater than my age then and then we want to put another else in and then end if. Let's just set up our code block um, like that and then we want to put the tabs in again. So you did put tab it, tab it in again with the ifs and then you just know okay this is this code block, this is this code block and then this is this code block. So if their guess is greater than my age then uh, message box how rude I'm not that old, and um, the else so the else will be when the guess isn't older than my age, so they've guessed that I'm too young. And how flattering! But I'm a bit older. Right, so if we run this now, um, what it's going to do is it's going to test whether or not my age is different to guess. If it is different to guess, it's then going to do one of two things, uh, depending on whether their guess was higher or lower than my age. Um, and then at the end, here, at the other side of the first if statement, it's going to go, congrats, you guessed it. Um, and then I'm just going to get rid of this one at the bottom, because we don't need that anymore. So... Um, the code will run whatever, we know that code's going to run whatever, so let's just press play. So you guess my age, 28. How rude, I'm not that old. Um, so you, you can see then it's coming out with the, the older one, and it's not running the, the, the younger one, and it's not running the congratulations, you guessed it. Okay, so let's guess young, let's guess that I'm 8. Um, how flattering, I don't think I'd be that flattered if someone guessed I was 8. Um, and then let's, let's just test that it's still working if we um, if we guess it right. So let's put it in 24 and say congrats, you guessed it. Excellent. So that's how you'd use a nested if statement. Um, if you wanted to go even further and put extra if statements in, then you can go as deep as you like. Um, just bear in mind that if you keep doing enough of them, it's going to get quite complicated and if you're going more than kind of like 10 or 20 then there's probably going to be a better way of you doing it uh, which I'll come on to in later tutorials so uh, thanks for listening uh, if you're enjoying these tutorials please subscribe to my channel and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial